right person who is familiar with the subject and then the participants always change tables so that in the course of the event, of the panel, uh, every person in the room uh, makes a contribution to on one of the tables to the sub-subjects. Yeah? So one becomes more familiar with the, with the whole thematic of the, uh, of the panels. Uh, we have, uh, uh, in total, we have about uh, 70, uh, 80 persons that participated in the four panels in Ulm. Uh, so there's a core of, let's say, 10 persons, who are, uh, or 10 or 20 people who always participate, and then there are different, depending on the subjects of the panel, we, uh, we make it publicly uh, we announce it publicly and accessible uh, also to, to, to outsiders in the world. Uh, like faces of Italian times. Third, all the greatery here of Sweden and Denmark. Yeah. 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 Ye
appreciation of ancient culture as the antique philosophy and architecture, the Latin language, the Ten Commandments, the human rights, the development of the democracy. Many culture groups find common roots here. The questions we asked were, does cultural heritage refer to Europe or does it refer to single national countries? And further on, in how far changes cultural heritages, heritage with the time being and in the spirit of the time? And our questions in uh, thesis three were, what could be the impact of European identity? Social participation, what makes a social participation possible? What are the possible conditions for participation in society? And how should our society be in 10 years after today? The starting point of the workshop was the position that base principles of people's cooperation always should include mutual acceptance. Together, the participants tried to define mutual acceptance and continued discussing the limits of acceptance and the possibilities of creating acceptance. Mutual acceptance was defined as follows by the participants of the workshop. To take other people as they are, to meet on a par with others, and to accept and to value the differences. Further important aspects were mentioned, like mutual regard, tolerance and respect as well, as interacting in the world. Correct. And well, the <coughs> this side, uh, field of C, is without trees because the Venetian came here to cut all the woods on this side. Yes. Therefore, environmental protection is a task for every generation. We have to sensitize the young generation to the importance of their of this responsibility. Suggestions. First, economic objective should be in keeping with the necessity of, in, of our environment. That is to say, that industrial production should be environmentally friendly. For example, sewage should be treated in sewage farms. Harmful emissions should be avoided. Second, the production of energy must be sustainable. What is, what is, more, <coughs> what is more, the supply of energy must be secured for a long period of time and not be based on short-time solutions. <coughs>